The MACOP project describes and relates two concepts of cancer. On the one hand, we look at the contemporary scientific concepts of, can of cancer. On the other hand, we describe the hitherto unrecorded understanding of cancer by the current Maya, Mayas of Guatemala. Here both the cognitive spiritual and the herbal medical side will be investigated. From my side, the cognitive spiritual side is of special interest. I suspect that the project may illuminate some challenges, scientific questions of neurobiology, for instance, how the mind or the brain interacts with the immune system, and why and in what way the, uh, the immune system may be affected by cognitive spiritual impacts. A special feature of the Markov project is that it is a transdisciplinary project. In the strong sense, the project is jointly led by Don Cirilo Perez Oschlach, the ambassador of the Guatemalan Maya, Don Simeon, and some other elders on the side of the Maya. And the project is led by me and Professor Renner on the side of science. The project is coordinated by Monica Berger Gonzalez, who is both a PhD student at ETH and a Achi, a Maya priest. Don Chirillo expressed that the Maya want to give something to the world and that they want to, bridge, to build a bridge to science. And I suspect that Western medicine can give something to the Maya knowledge on diseases, for instance, by means of diagnosing diseases. And I believe that both sides can learn from each other. This, however, asks for the development of new methodologies such as transdisciplinarity, where both sides meet, meet each other on equal footing and which allows for transdisciplinary processes where both sides may benefit. Already the first month of the project has shown that this is possible. The MACOC project takes a look at modern scientific theories on cancer and the immune system and reconsiders them from the human environment systems framework perspective. A critical aspect is collaboration with key project partners from leading scientific communities in Europe who compose an advisory board stressing scientific rigor and the production of state-of-the-art knowledge on cancer. However, other cultures have different ways of conceptualizing and dealing with cancer, such as the Maya people of Guatemala, who have treated this disease called Ajalpul Ajal Cana for hundreds of years. The Macoc project is conducting research with the Maya Council of Elders in Guatemala, working with wisdom keepers and traditional healers of six ethnolinguistic groups. The Maya indigenous people represent 55% of the population and comprise 21 ethnolinguistic groups. The MACOC project will conduct over 70 interviews with elders from the Cacchiquel, Quiche, Quechi, Mam, Itza, and Mopan communities. This process will allow for the reconstruction and documentation of Maya knowledge on cancer. In January 2011, 
the ETH project leaders joined representatives of the six regional Maya councils of elders to take part in the research project. As the transdisciplinary process dictates, both cultures' protocols are taken into consideration to achieve a full understanding and effective organization of the project. Before jumping into a Western academic setting, the Maya Akihab and Akamalpeh, leaders of the councils, conducted a ritual ceremony in the ancient city of Tikal, where all participants were introduced to each other following an ancient process of communication with the material and spiritual worlds. The ceremony served to request the support of four spiritual guides of the Maya people to conduct the workshop for the Makov project, as well as to have a clear mind to reach a wise consensus on important aspects of it. The ceremony is also considered an offering to open the communication channel with the wisdom keepers of the present and of the past, and to secure permission to reveal and share highly guarded knowledge to a scientific Western community, something never done before in this scale. Tata Simeon Takira, project leader for the Maya people, welcomed all participants. Tata Salvador Kutsal gave an introductory speech to those present. Los mayas solo nos quieren como Tikal, Paxaquitum y Xinche. Ahí sí nos quieren. Pero los dueños de los hoteles, de los restaurantes, de los aviones no son los mayas. Comen de nosotros. ¿Dónde está la tierra? ¿Dónde está nuestra espiritualidad? Nos insultan. Hacen proyectos fuera de nosotros. Comen de nosotros. Y todavía así no nos tratan como personas. Por eso es importante que nuestra medicina, el fuego sagrado, nos indique cuál es el norte, cuál es el sur. Por eso queda en las manos, en la mente, en la inteligencia, la responsabilidad de retomar la historia. No cabe duda que la historia de Guatemala llora sangre, torturas, miserias, pobrezas. Pero gracias a los guías espirituales, gracias a Pablo Ash, Simeón Taquirá, no nos han matado todavía. Todavía existimos y si existimos tenemos que retomar la historia. Muchas gracias por ser parte. No nos vamos a rendir todavía. Hay mucha historia por construir. Reconstruir la espiritualidad, la religión, la política, la economía, la forma de vivir. Muchas gracias. After the ceremony was concluded, the first transdisciplinary workshop took place, where the elders from the six Maya councils discussed with their ETH counterparts the main aspects of research, from the guiding questions to results and the way in which joint leadership was to be carried out in the next three years. This part of the transdisciplinary process allowed for joint problem definition, joint problem representation, and the co-leadership for all parts of the project. The Makok project offers a unique opportunity to document historically fragmented knowledge of a rich culture such as the Maya of Guatemala, which will be published in the form of a book, an outcome of special interest to the Maya population. All results from the project will be published in top scientific journals. 
So I think the Markov project is an interesting project for medical profession, not only probably in Guatemala, but certainly here for us in Europe, and especially in Switzerland as well. Because, uh, you, you see, we do what we call school medicine approach, so we treat patients mostly with a kind of standard diagnostic and therapeutic tools we have available here. But I think for the benefit of our patients, for the benefit of our knowledge, we have to look to other cultures and other countries, how they diagnose, how they treat cancer, and then hopefully learn from each other. Because I think the most important thing one has to do is to be open-minded, not just to insist on the kind of approach one has learned and then just follow that route always, but we have to look what other paths there are, if we cannot benefit from them, and if we cannot come up with an integrated concept how to diagnose and treat cancer. So I think the Markov project is a perfect extension of hopefully what we are doing, we can learn from each other and then hopefully improve how we treat and diagnose our patients.